Yo, what is up everybody? I am gonna kind of just try to marathon through some box breaks. As you can see here, I've got four very busted boxes that I need to just kind of open up and do something with. So we're gonna get after it, guys. We're gonna go right in here. As you can see, we've got a few different things, but like that, a ninja in particular drop kicked that one. This one got riggedy rocked by a uh, mafioso from Capenna. Just like this one, you can see it's just bulging and shifted. And we got a this one that like, I don't know what happened. It, it met the horizon swiftly. So we're gonna slide those off to the side and get started. This will be the first one of a busted box booster box breakdown box opening set of videos we're gonna do. We're gonna get these out of here right quick. So let's just get right into it, guys. Some Kamigawa, awesome set. We've got some cool cards so far. I've yet to do opening on my channel where we've seen any Emperors, any Tamiyo. So let's see, we're really hunting some Juicy Mythics. We're gonna fly today. We are gonna fly quickly and swiftly. And let's just get right to it, guys. Just some draft boosters too. Nothing too wild coming out of these, but let's just get right into it. Kamigawa first. Just fly past these commons. Uncommon there. Light pauses are rare. A foil, a land, and a token. So I hope you're all having a good weekend. I hope everybody's having a good time. You know, Kamigawa, I do really like this set. It's got a lot of cool cards. A lot of this bulk I just hold on to. Um, I'm trying to move my personal stuff away from even selling many cards to Soul Transfer. And just more get into kind of hoarding stuff, managing stuff, organizing stuff, figuring out where it all will go and where it all will end up a few years from now. It's a big thing. So, meanwhile, I enjoy everybody who takes the time to hang out with me and watch a video. March of Otherworldly Light. There's our little guy, little Totoro. Little Marodoro? Is that the magic term of this guy? Love that little Chonko in the foreground there. Little Chonko doing his thing. Boom, boom. We're just going. Guys. We're gonna go with swiftness. Like a like a Nizumi ninja robbing a bank. We are moving quickly. You know, the last few sets, thinking about it this way, have really promoted some crime between ninjas robbing banks and uh there's a little scrap welder. Surprised this guy is not worth anything. Seems like he'd be totally commander playable. And a foil uncommon. Not too bad. Love these lands, love them. Beautiful. They get their own little spot. Nothing too flashy so far. Let's keep our eyes peeled for mythics. Very cool reinforced Ronin biting palm ninja. Yeah, I opened another one of him before. He goes here, you go there, you go there. We're going rapid, some quick box openings. A box break blitz. Mech Titan Core. Oh, that's our foil. What was our rare? We skid right past it. Bank Buster. Bank Buster's cool. Mech Core Titan. He goes in a rare pile. You go with those. You go over here. So far, no mythics yet. We're keeping our eyes peeled. Where's that Tamiyo? Where is that Wandering Emperor? Where are they? Will we see them? Tribute to Hirobi. What is this one? Makes a rat. Exile the Saga. And it transforms. Echo Death's Whale. Flying haste. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of all rat tokens. Huh. Okay. That's not bad. So a little booster box blitz for you all. We're going quickly. Tribute to Hirobi again in the other art. Well, you can see them side by side there. If you'd like, I'm going here. Personally, and just a regular old mountain. Same token. That was wild. Back, back to back. Back to back in the box like that. Spirit Sisters Call. There's our first mythic. 
pretty awesome. Love the art on that too. We'll put that out here. It's our first mythic. And we got one of those beautiful lands chilling behind our showcase. So we could be on track for four mythics here with our current pace. Let's see how fate unfolds for us. Farewell, another solid pull. Invoke the winds in the showcase. Can control a target artifact or creature. Untap it. Not too shabby. Ogrehead Helm. Yuck. And we got a foil saga there. Befriending the moths. Sweetwater Club and a little uh, token. Okay, that's one third of the box down. We're going quickly, guys. Now we're more on track to get one mythic in this whole box. Or one, three. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get one. That'll be a sad box. Lion Sash, not bad. Nahiri's answer to scavenging oaths. I will say, I'm not really ready to move much of my position on Kamigawa yet. I think it's a well-received, popular set, so it's probably, Invoke the Ancients, probably going to see some action as uh, standard shifts here in the future, and I'll probably do a pretty interesting video to revisit uh, standard after the big rotation here in September, when Dominaria United comes out. I'd love to know if anybody's got some feelings on what they think's gonna really rise and what they think's gonna really fall as uh, standard shifts pretty dramatically here in the future. Satsuki, the living lore. She's our saga commander. Acquisition octopus, very beautiful. Foily, and another land and a token. You know what, let's just do a quick little cleanup here because we're ripping and rocking, y'all. You can tell this is a little chill. Box Blitz Bonanza, we're reserving our energy because we are going to go hard today. We're going to crack all of these boxes, get a bunch of videos loaded up for the week. All right, back to it, back to it. Whoa, that one's eager to be open. guy's pretty solid. Jukai Naturalist. That's more ammo for our Enchantress build. So is this guy. This guy's getting some interesting action lately. Check out Shigeki. His channel ability and his ability to uh, cycle himself in a way actually gives him a lot of juice right now. Beautiful, beautiful swamp. Love those. I love that they're, you know, this whole tradition versus modernity is a really cool riff. Like something for them to take. Oh, beautiful. Kamano, that's a cool card. Prosperous Thief. Hidetsugu consumes all. I think that's our second mythic. Not bad. We've gotten quite a few of those lately. Join the Spirit Sisters down there. Jukai Preserver. It's our little foily. I, yeah, I believe that's a foil. Yep. Keep rocking here. Secret layer. Couple uncommon lands holding it down for us. Brilliant restoration. Not a bad card at all. Not a bad card at all. And that beautiful mountain and a samurai. So yeah. Just an interesting time right now. We're in the midst of August, waiting for Dominaria to go up, waiting to get our orders in. Ooh, Tezzeret. Boom. Haven't even opened him yet, and all the Kamigawa have opened. The first activated ability of an artifact you activate each turn costs two less. 
He's only four for four power. That's great. His plus one is draw two cards and then discards two cards unless you discard an artifact. That's great. Minus two, target artifact becomes an artifact creature. If it isn't a vehicle, it's base toughness, pack four, four. Minus six, whenever you get an emblem of, whenever an artifact you control becomes tap, draw a card. This guy's probably going to be awesome. Dominaria or Brothers War is probably going to have a great artifact theme. He will still be in standard at that time. You're drawing a card every time you tap a treasure. Like, look out for your boy Tez. I think this is a card that goes way up in the coming in the coming months. So we'll keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stake. Oh, this Goblin Shaman, by the way. This this token is going for a couple bucks right now. Not exactly sure why, but it definitely is. Keep your eye out for those as well. So far, that's probably the best pack we've opened. Let's see what else we got though. Definitely up their pace on Mythics though. Now that we're at three, and we still got about half the second we're about just about halfway through the box but we're at three mythics so things are things are shifting around for us and beside you bam okay we're doing pretty good that gets to go down here it's not a mythic but it goes over hits and a foil hanada that's another great pack hmm hanada just keeps seeing more she just finds more and more ways to see play she really does she's really great I don't know if she's quite a commander, but she does a lot of utility. You see her a lot on EDH Rec. You see her sneaking away in these sideboards. Jess guy is just a really strong color combination across Standard and Pioneer. So, Hanada. Tatsunari Toad Rider. I like this little guy. I like his little cartoon version, though, with the little anime toad. It's very cute. I love that little toad's happy face. All right. Remember our final 15 packs, that's going to be that little token in the back. We know what that is. Yeah, let's keep riding. Moon Circuit Hacker, great card for Pioneer. It's a Ninja of the Deep Hours running through, or I'm sorry, Popper, but I just made some Popper upgrades. Spinning Wheel Kick and March of Burgeoning Life in the showcase. I have, don't know if I've opened this. Additional cost to cast a spell. You may exile any number of green cards from your hand. The spell costs two less for each card exiled that way. Choose target creature's mana value at X. Search your library. Put the same name tapped on the battlefield. Dang. An instant? That's pretty good. There are definitely graveyard synergy decks that would want that. March of Burgeoning Life. Hello. Welcome to the party, March. Look at that forest, too. That is fantastic. Wow. Okay. So this box kind of shifted. We're seeing not the usual cards we would think of when we're just being kind of thirsty and greedy about Kamigawa, but we're seeing some good stuff, guys. Not a not a bummer by any means. Let's see what else we find. Satoru Umezawa. He's cool. He's cool. Awesome little ninja commander. You can go kick it over there. Reckoner Shakedown. Nothing too saucy in our rare slot yet. We did get that one foil... Uh, Foil Mech Core, Mech Titan Core has been our one foil rare so far. As you see, we are flying, guys. We're going to get a bunch of videos out today. Talking to him, a abandoned mire. Not the juiciest one, but we did pull our beside you. Pretty cool. Beautiful planes. Okay, down to the last 12. Let's make it count. I guess we got a foil Hanada too, so... Two foil rares, Moon Circuit Hacker, love that in the showcase. Just a new popper all-star. Invoke Calamity. Dude, okay, not bad, not bad. That's, certain decks want that. We're going hot and heavy here, hot and heavy, you guys. Guys and gals, cats and kittens. Invoke the winds. Man, getting all, quite a bit of the invoking. Ecologist Terrarium, it's not a bad card at all. I think that will find niche play in Commander decks in the future, as just sort of being the land-fetching artifact that creates tokens that people would want to see. For Inclex and other decks like that. Malicious Malfunction. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, love that card. We're just, we're just racking up on those. We'll keep it up here. You know, we'll clean up. These guys got to come play. Besides, you's looking honorary mythic, right? <laughs> but let's see. We, we pulled three mythics so far. Not one yet in this stack, but I think we're on track for four. Let's cross our fingers and hope. 
Maybe we can squeak out five and really pull the box box up. Boom. Ryu, Storm's Edge. Yeah, it's not bad. Probably goes into Ishin, two heavens is one, commander deck. Otherwise, I don't think Samurai really really got off the ground other than probably in draft, which isn't bad either. The Jungle Hall and Tamiyo's Notebook. Does Tamiyo show up? Tamiyo completed. Do we get to complete? Let's find out. Ooh, boom. Atsushi, the Blazing Sky. Great, great card. So there's four Mythics on the day. Another Showcase Land, love those. The Reality Chip. Boy, we're seeing all the signals. Beautiful Swamp. Seeing all the signals, but no Tamiya, she's hiding. Because her got his food. No Wandering Emperor yet, so far, either. Goro Goro, Disciple of Ryusai. He's not bad. He, I've seen him actually show up in some deck lists as well. Um, some of the Encore treatment. Beautiful forest there. I think that's in foil. Gorgeous. Love that. Little Lansky token. All right, we're down to our final few packs. One more mythic, does it pull through? Do we get a foil? What do we got? What do we got? Kind of excited to find out. Mirror box. I've been seeing this card also show up on some EDH lists. Not a bad one to hold on to there. Drop you there, drop you there. Okay. Getting close to the final showdown. The final rumbles in Kamigawa. Invoke Justice. It's an all right card. Sweetwater Cliff. Swiftwater Cliff. Here we go, turning and burning. Another second Hinata. It's not bad. We got a few of her now. She's cool. Beautiful Plains. Another lovely Samurai token. All right, last two packs. Ooh, I, uh, we exposed ourselves, but there are some goodies we called our shot. Boom, let's go Mech Titan Core, but let's really go. Tamiyo completed in foil. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Boom. With the notebook, with Tezzeret. She's completed. She's awesome, man. I love this card. And that funky, funky, like, Phyrexian frame. Boom. That's a good one. All right. Last pack, guys, before the recap, but quite the blitz here. Quite the blitz. It's going to be this token in the back. Ooh, and a mountain. Since we saw it. And our final, final, final bit of action for this box booster box blitz break is Kyrie Swirling Sky. Another mythic. So our mythic weight actually pulled way, way up. And for a quick rip through our booster boxes, not bad. Here's our recap we got beside you, Honorary Mythic here of the channel. And we got Tezra and Tamiyo in foil. So two Planeswalkers, two Mythic Dragons, Hidetsugu Consumes All, and the Spirit Sisters Call. Not a bad box of Kamigawa, y'all. Thanks for joining me. And keep your eye out. Some more Booster Box uh, Bust Open Box Break Blitz is coming to the channel. Thanks very much and have a good day. Peace.